Couldn't ask for better weather on this Tuesday afternoon. And Whitaker delivers a strike over the plate. Was the, uh, the pitching coach for the Knolls before the game. What a good pitch, but a base hit up the middle by Eric Snow. Outscored them in a four-game series, 49 to six. Snow thought about it. Bozer slaps this right towards center. Ross busy early. The Bulls have hit it to center with each batter, and Bobby Bozer is on. Now there's Rafael Betancourt, the sophomore. Sends the grounder over to second. Tap of the bag. Drew Ferro takes care of business against Ross. Longoria yeah. gives up the single. Smith rounding first. He'll hold up there. Good one out single for the Knowles. And Smith takes off. This ball hammered to right field. Forget about it. James Tibbs goes yard. Man, like I was saying, James Tibbs, man, does not miss the barrel very often. He, he's, he's a patient hitter, but when he swings it, man, he hammers it. Four pitch walk to Ferrer. Payoff pitch. That'll get away from Joaquin Monke. Now his third walk of the inning loads the bases. West hits it down the line. Multiple runs coming in. He'll hold up at second, but he clears the bases. Jackson West delivers. And the Knolls jump in front 5-0 in the first. A huge double right there. Huge first inning double by Jackson West. Three RBIs on one swing. Albeit six games into a young season. Right. But you got to give them credit, man. They're putting them on there early now. Matt Rose fires across the diamond to get that third out. Lost a battle to the Bulls as Bozer flares this right over the head of Alex Lodi's leadoff hit for the Bulls. Not a lot of use in a guy only getting two 10 at bats. Hits it over to second. Ferro turns it for one. They get two. Another double play for this FSU defense. But he works hard. He just loves baseball. We trust him. Right. I think they trust Whitaker, too. That was a phenomenal changeup. Defensive guys um, in the country, I think. That ball looks like it grazed his forearm there. Oh, these guys are getting the opportunity and, and thriving at it. Ross has been battling. Grounds it over to first. Taken care of by John Montez. But each runner advances up. Second and third after the first out of the inning. But you got Cam Smith, who's had two great hits so far today with an approach. And there he goes again, right up the middle with two runners on. He's going to score two. Cam Smith, have a night. Three for three for the sophomore. And he adds to the seminal lead with two more across home. Seven nothing. A youth baseball game and Loretta. You know, uh, elementary school function. He's a great guy to have. Strikes out there and looking, but uh, man, just a leader on the team for the Seminoles. Now a 2 2 to Ben Rosenblum. Excellent. And another punch shot for Connor Whitaker. A Sarasota native looking for another strikeout against Montez. But Montez pulls this all the way to the wall, digging for two. And he'll slide in safely. John Montez with the first extra base hit of the night for the Bulls. If you're giving up too many of them, then today's tough, but I'll tell you what, they are uh, our starter at third every single day. All right, you see him. He's, he's been lights out today. He's had some great plays. Drives this, this ball. Off the fence, holds up at first, now going for second. Montez is in to score. It's an RBI double for Matt Rose. Matt Rose, again, may have hit that ball too hard, man. Drove this ball off the wall. And see if he can get back in there. Drills this towards right field, and another one goes off the wall. Good throw by Tibbs, and he guns down Snow. The run does score. 
And but another what a double throw. by Snow right there. Three doubles by the Bulls, but. Eighth pitch of the third at bat to Brecher, and he goes down swinging again. They said that's all Bobby thinks about is baseball and how he can become a pro. But he goes down on strikes there. 0-2. Oh, three up, three down. Three strikeouts for Connor Whitaker in the sixth. Bayoff pitch to West. Good eye by Jackson West right there. That's a tough at bat, man. 93 lefty on lefty. Says you got to be a winner. First team all A Sun member last year, Lodis. Get the two RBIs. You see him right here, drops that down the line for a double at least. Damn, his Ross got, has wheels. He may turn this into a triple if Jackson West can score. West scores standing up. Ross delivers with a triple. It's 8 2 Florida State. You have to develop some maturity in order to be a, a, a really good hitter. And Cam Smith right there, man, he falls behind really quickly on, on some really tough pitches there by Beavis, but looks like they're going to go ahead and intentionally walk James Tibbs. 0-2 upstairs, no one covering second. They allow Tibbs to take it. Grouter to second. Bozer fields and tosses to first. Phenomenal receiver and a great uh, uh, leader on the field to, to pitch that first strike down in the zone. This one gets away from West. Rosenblum sliding into second safely as that just gets out of the glove of Alex Lodis. Two and one to Montez. Had the double and came around to score in the fifth. And now punches that right past Faro. Rosenblum into score. It's a great piece of hitting there by Montez, man. He scorched that ball in. Five of the nine hits for USF from their six through nine guys in the order. Good ground ball. They get it at second. Throw to first from Faro is in time. Third double play for Florida State tonight. Two runs in the fifth, one in the seventh for the Bulls as Faro pops up towards left field. Rosenblum in a big sprint, misplays it, and it goes right by his glove. Yeah, that ball hung up in the air forever. Just hit ball he's had all night. Now taking off for third. Faro there standing up easily. Snow misplays it, throw to home, too tall for Monke. Drew Faro with a hustle run right there. He, he had that base stolen all the way. The arms that he can go to. It's nice when you win big. The grounder up the middle. Step on the bag. It's second. Cantu grounds into the double play there to give USF two quick outs. Been on base after every plate appearance, but goes down swinging there. On the batters. Give him a little chin music. Yeah, well, not chin music. You don't want to throw in on the chin. But you're trying to get in on those hands and <laughs> see if you can repeat it. Ryder takes off. Anke doesn't even bother. You know, that's what's something that's was hoping to be a big bullpen arm for Billy Mole as that one gets away from Monke. Williams easily advances. Oh, my goodness. Oh, put in there perfectly by Jula. And gets the much-needed strikeout for the first out of the eighth. First pitch tattooed into the gap. And it's over the wall. Cam Smith. It's gone. Wow, Cam Smith. My goodness. Have a night, kid. Three for three, go, or three for four going into that at bat. Jumps on the first pitch and hits it. An absolute missile over the center field fence. Left fielder barely budged. Cam Smith, a homer, three singles, four RBIs. And now, now James Tibbs. Tibbs following it up. Same part of the field. James Tibbs with an opposite field home run. His second of the night. The Knolls go back to back in the eighth. Another huge night from your leaders. 0-2 to Max Williams. He goes through this swing. When you're scoring 12, you're going to get eight opportunities to get up there and hit. 
Man, don't put the bats to bed. Let them keep going. Grounder back to Jula. He flips to first. Coach, smile when you throw up zip codes like that. Yeah. Yeah, Seminole scoring in five of the eight innings they got to hit in. and so. Illinois on Friday, Michigan State Saturday, Western Michigan on Sunday as Cole Robertson walks on four pitches. To the hitter before. And now flares Ardell. this over the third baseman's head. USF looking to add some runs here before the end of the night. Here comes Robertson all the way home from first. Free passes, making the Bulls earn it. But the Bulls are doing a good job of earning it. So, Buffington grounds it over to short. Lodi all over it. And the Seminoles take care of business at home in this midweek matchup.